Teresa, oh yeah, she's, there's another very class lady, just uh, very friendly, very outgoing, uh, kind of a leader type person. She's the uh, kind that uh, uh, you would expect to see uh, kind of helping lead groups and helping people out. Teresa Giacomovich, she was a cheerleader with me, as well as Dot. Dot played in the band too. Uh, Teresa was really great. Ben also was just a it, kind of a laid-back, quiet, easy-going type of uh, individual and uh, uh, just uh, again very pleasant to be around and very enjoyable to, to talk with. Ben Chavez. Everybody liked Ben. He's a great guy. He's living in California now. And she also had uh, that, that wonderful laugh that uh, just it would help get your day started and get you going and uh, uh, kind of made you feel pretty good to be around her. Amelia Snowton, she lives in the area and um, she's really a fine person too. We seen her last summer. Bob Brooks. This is uh, this fellow was one of the best basketball players. Neatest guy. He and I got along just great and uh, I remember one time he had uh, he was having problems with his math class and I was always pretty good at math, so I told uh, Bob, I said, Bob, I, I'm, I'm terrible at basketball, so I'll make you a deal. I'll help you with your math if you teach me how to play basketball. And, uh, well, Bob passed the math, and, and I still can't make a basket. It saved my life. But he was a great guy, just a great, great guy. Nancy, there's a great smile. You notice I smile when I see some of these smiles because I, they, uh, they just, uh, that's the way they were. and. Uh, uh, they'd walk in a room and it was just a, you know, it just would kind of light it up and uh, she was a very, very nice individual. Donna Moore, she was a fine person too. She uh, was in the cheerleaders and um, not sure if she played basketball or not, but we see her at least once a year. And Jean Richards, she married Charlotte, but he married Charlotte Beatty. And they live in the area. Nice couple. Gene Richards, Charlotte's husband. And uh, again, Gene was, uh, had that neat little smile. And uh, again, he would come in and uh, just kind of perk the area up. And, and I can see why Charlotte grabbed a hold of him real quick, or the other way around, whichever way you want to say it. But they did make a very, they make a great couple. Donna Schulte, she was, uh, had a beautiful voice. and. It was very intelligent. I believe she lives in California now. Donna, another very class lady, just a wonderful person. Uh, again, another person that you could talk very easily to. She, uh, she would make uh, just about anybody at comfort. Dot Davis was one of my friends from kindergarten on and still is to this day. Uh, she's a great gal. Carol Matthews. What a great person she is. She's a very class lady. I believe she became a teacher and, uh, in the New Haven High School uh, system. And uh, again, a very, very class person. Uh, just uh, very easy to sit and talk with. I mean, it was uh, the kind of person you could just, uh, she could make a stranger feel at comfort, or, uh, you know, at comfort uh, very easily. And uh, uh, really a pleasant person to be around. George Owens, he was the president of our class. He's a very special fella. We seen him last summer at the banquet. Uh, Roy, one of the one of the twin boys. A little bit of a cut up, so I won't get into too much of the stories about Roy. I'll have to leave that to I'll let Roy explain that one of these days. But uh, he was uh, he was a fun guy to be around with. We had a lot of laughs together, and uh, we did a lot of cutting up together. And uh, he and his brother were both uh, uh, both kind of neat guys. Don Schwark and Roy Short, their cousins. I see them often. We go to the same church and they're a, they're a lot of fun, these two guys. Peter Osborne was a, a very outgoing, he, he loved to sing, he was a singer. And uh, he was uh, very much into his church. He was uh, uh, very, uh, very much a Christian man and uh, uh, he was a very nice person to be around. Uh, he and I had many, many conversations about a lot of different subjects. Loretta Engelbert, she was a nice girl too. We, I enjoyed always visiting with her. 
Well, this is Russell Alexey, and there's no question he was probably one of the funniest and the smile, uh, you just, you couldn't beat his smile. He just had the greatest smile and he, uh, uh, just a fun fellow to be around. He was a lot of laughs and uh, and he was always there for you if you ever need any help or any kind of anything like that. He was just uh, just a great guy. And well, Russ Alexey had a great personality and uh, he was very well liked. He played in the sports and a lot of the girls just thought he was Super guy. Well, Linnell Biggers, obviously, <clears throat> I have to be very careful how I say this. This was my high school sweetheart. And uh, Linnell was a very, very nice, uh, very nice young lady. And uh, she and I had uh, uh, a lot of very nice times together. And uh, uh, just as life goes, we went our different directions. And, uh, but uh, she is a very, very nice person. Linnell Biggers, also, very pretty girl. and was liked to want by everyone too. Patricia Blackburn, she, uh, she was a very quiet uh, individual in our class and uh, she um, was pleasant to be around and uh, she just uh, uh, kind of kept to herself a little bit. Joe Anson was a very nice fella, uh, a little more on the quieter side. Joe was uh, a real nice uh, a gentleman and a very kind of a quiet young man and uh, but uh, very, uh, very easy to sit and talk with and be around. He was very, uh, uh, very nice, very cordial type of individual. Alan Seaford, I think he was um, vice president of our class. I seen him last summer. He was a great guy too. He played football. I think he was on the All-Stars for the football team. And um, everybody liked Alan too. And Alan Seaford, of course, Alan, uh, he was, uh, quite an athlete, uh, quite an intelligent man, and, uh, and a real, real gentleman. In fact, he was, when I first came to New Haven, I had come from a one-room schoolhouse, and, and I knew nobody at New Haven my freshman year. And uh, Alan and I had met in a little camp the year before, and he was very, very nice about getting me introduced to the people and helping me feel comfortable. And that's just the way Alan was. He was just a, a real, real first-class gentleman all the way. John Harley, happy John, and there's his smile. John has always had the big, the big gargacious, uh, gargacious, I get the word right yet, but uh, the, big, the big smile and the big laugh. He, he could walk in a room and just kind of light it up a little bit with his big smile, and as you can see, uh, what you see in the picture is John. That's just the way he was. Great guy. Herman Luchin, he stills around. In fact, he was at the banquet last summer. He's a nice guy. We always called him Herman the German. Yes, Herman and I, uh, in fact, we just sat at the, uh, the class reunion, our 50th class reunion together, and uh, uh, he looks today like he did in high school. He has, doesn't look like he's changed a whole lot, and uh, just a really a friendly type guy, easy to talk with, always willing to, uh, you know, to give a, give a hand with, any, to, with anything. Charlotte Beatty was more on the quiet side, but very pleasant and nice. Charlotte Beatty. <clears throat> I got a little bit of a surprise about her recently. I uh, found out that she had married one of our classmates, Gene Richards, and they go to the local church right uh, close by, and, uh, and, uh, and I can always remember that smile. She was always very, uh, very outgoing and uh, <clears throat> very, uh, very pleasant individual to be around. Uh, Dolores, here's the lady who had the big smile and the laugh. She would come into the classes and uh, she would just uh, start poking fun at me and give me a hard time and she had this, this great laugh that uh, um, it was just, uh, she was a fun lady to be around. Just a fun lady to be around. Rose Garcia, she was the queen of our senior class. A cousin to Ben Chavez. She was a very special person. Ah, oh, Rose Garcia, what a wonderful lady. <clears throat> Rose, unfortunately, is uh, she's also gone. But here, here is a very class lady. She was uh, she was so well liked by everybody in the class. She was just easy going, lovable. Would help you do anything in the world. Uh, she just uh, was just a, was a top person, just class class person. Um, we did have a great class, and we got along very well with our teachers. And we just I had a very 
good experience in school, all my school days. Liked the teachers, liked my classes, and made a lot of friends. And I guess when you look at back at them and uh, you look at that whole pile, um, I know I've said they, they probably, they smiled a lot and they did. We, we had a very, very nice diverse group of people that came from diverse backgrounds and religious backgrounds and we just seemed like we all got along together uh, great and um, we uh, we had some really good times together at our proms and at our parties and uh, you know the uh, homecoming and uh, we anybody needed a little help there was somebody in the group that would help uh, they were just uh, uh, I, I look back at the 32 and I say that's 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 a great 32. We were a small class compared to the big, the big schools that graduate 500 and 600 students, but uh, uh, I don't think you'd have had any more fun than we did uh, as a class.